She's the hardest worker I've met in comedy. She books this room. A lovely gal. Let's give it up. Make her feel welcome. Miss Ying Vigilan. Going for our host, he's Richard. Yeah, he's Richard. Yeah, he's doing my job. <laughs> wow. I normally host, uh, so thank you, Keys, for uh, doing the heavy lifting. But I, I'm, yeah, I, I just drove from Spokane, all the way from Spokane, to do shows for you guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, Two-hour drive. That's as far as my comedy career goes. Yeah, two. Yeah, they come here on fire. What do you say? It's on fire. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you for coming. We got two more here. Yeah, I'm doing hosting again. Uh, but really happy. I don't have to host. Just tell my jokes, mostly dick jokes. So that works. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, for uh, people the first time here and uh, first time see me, so I gotta do some uh, introduction. Yeah. Uh, so my name is Ying. My name is Ying. I'm looking for Yen. I'm not picky, okay? Just try to get laid. Pasco, Tri City, it's a red place, yeah. I've been looking everywhere. Uh, so, if you're from uh, Kennewick and Richland, show him. Wow, thank you. Yeah, Rich, I know. I heard the people from uh, Richland or Kennewick, they don't come to Pasco. They, they, that bridge. They don't want to come here. So, thank you for showing up. Yeah, I know you planned all day, but right? Yeah, thank you. So I, I drove. I drove two hours from Spokane. Yeah. Uh, so my name is Yin. I I do have a last name. I have last name. I have a lot of last names. I got Chinese ones. I got American ones. I got comedy stage name. I really should just say Yin Michela. Yes. Uh, my uh, my uh, Chinese. Last name, I mean, it's because my legal name has changed, okay? But I have to go back to my Chinese last name and tell you it's a Fu. It's like F U. But I know. <laughs> wow, you were laughing already because that's the tr problem I got into when I first got here as a student. Go to school, right? But I just find out people are always hanging out on me. Especially those customer services, 800 people, right? And then I call the number, then the people say, okay, what's your name? I said, F U. Click. They had up on me, it's like, what? You know, I, I called the telephone company, 800 number. They were like, what's your name? F U. Click. They, they had up on me. <laughs> what's going on? I, didn't, I had no idea at the time, because in China, we say our last name first. Yeah, that's like President Xi Jinping, right? Xi is his last name. That's how we say it, right? Then until, I think, the, I don't know how many months went on, until one time there was an American guy in the room when that happened. And that's like, uh, people on the phone says, what's your name? I, I just slowed it down this time, like, F U. Like, they just, no exception, they, they just had up on me. And this American guy said, well, do you know what's going on? Do you even know what F U means? I said, no, I don't know what that means. It's not my last name, that's how I know. Then he said, the F U means fuck you. I was like, oh my God, really? I had no idea. So now all of a sudden I realized that first thing out of my mouth when I'm talking to people is fuck you. Then they just hung up on me. So I, oh my God, I'm not sure. I need to get rid of this last name. Ever since that day, I don't like my last name anymore. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta change. Then the American friend says, no, 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 actually, fuck you is the coolest last name I've ever heard. <laughs> you should keep it. And I was like, well, not really. I thought about it, I was like, you know what, but it's not quite there yet. You know, the F U is almost like silent middle finger, right? So that's not good. If if it is fuck you, I would have kept it. I know, because my first name actually is really plain. Just just imagine if you have plain American first name like Lisa, when you introduce, you would say, uh, "My name is Lisa. Fuck you." Wow, that'd be awesome name. What do you think, right? As as a last name, I mean, but my my last name too is so okay. Uh, I, I need to change, but you know, uh, Fu is in China is a very rare last name. Yeah, in, in China we have very common dominant four last names, very popular. Is a Wang, Li, Chen, I 
and then Leo. Those four ones, uh, you all heard uh, Bruce Lee, right? That's Lee, and Jackie Chan, that's Chan, and the Van Wang. These are three, you know, the famous Chinese uh, celebrities, you all heard, uh, they're from a dominant family. Even to this day, in some part of China, the whole village would have the same last name, like Wang. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lee. So I guess uh, Fu. They just they just kill off our Fu family. Yeah, the Fu family will go extinct, like Chinese panda. Yeah. But my point is, uh, because there's so many common last names in China, so the parents in China they spend all their uh, attention. Uh, some people even spend money to hire somebody to give a good first name for their babies when the baby is born. You know, yeah, I, I have a friend that they hired uh, a feng shui master of all people, thousand dollars to pick a good first name because you know the baby is like that's the the parents their dreams the, the things they cannot accomplish they want their baby to do it you know what I'm saying wow so all in the first name it was a lazy one the lazy parents they would have pick a some event thing going on in China and use that event name gave to the baby. For example, I have a cousin. His name is a Constitution. Yeah, that was the year China Constitution passed. So his name is a new Constitution. It's for real, yeah. I, I got an uncle, his name is Liberation. Yeah, for real. So uh, what I'm saying is that, uh, according to a Chinese parents, what happened last few years, uh, America, we would have a very cool First name, for example, 2020. Some some name would be uh, first name would be pandemic. They have to be good name, right? Pandemic, right? But I don't think the Chinese parents would go as far as uh, COVID-19. <laughs> That'd be like disease, virus. Nobody want that. Uh, so 2021, last year, you know what I'm saying? January 6th. Oh, that was a good event, right? I would imagine a lot of Chinese parents would have named their kid Insurrection. What do you think? That's a pretty, that's a pretty good first name, you know, like Stop Steal. Wow, that's another good one, right? And another one I can say is a Biden one. How about that? I think that would be the best first name. Uh, this year, 2022, okay, in June, what happened in this country? The, the lazy Chinese parents would have named their kids uh, Overture, Roe Wade. What do you think? People are quiet. That would be, yeah, that would be, that would be, that would be good, you know, first name. Like, yeah, they, they just, like, I even heard people call their baby a million. Because the parents want their kid make a million dollars. Million, it's a name, you know? Earthquake, it's a name. Man, yeah, yeah, whatever happened. So, uh, um, so I, I would think, uh, uh, I'm still talking about a name, okay. So this name, if somebody called bad abortion, first name, what do you think? It only works if you combine with my last name. So it would say, my name is Ben Borshin, fuck you. How about that? I mean, really good, really good name. Uh, but you know what? Uh, America, you guys are opposite. You guys are last name. Wow, that's a saving grace. You guys, you guys the last name are just beautiful. It's like covered, just reflect the people for every corner of the planet. Yeah, I think that's wrong. I don't think anybody has the same last name, unless your husband or wife, okay? If, if you have the same last name, tell me, I'll give you five bucks, okay? What I'm saying is that your last name is like Chinese first name. Oh my God, it's very diverse, because when I grown up from elementary, middle school, high school to college, I have not met any of my classmates that have the same first name, just so diverse. Um, but, but you know what? Um, your, your last name is beautiful, but your first name, oh my God, it's lazy as hell. I don't know, it's, how many Kevins in this room? <laughs> yeah, we don't even think anymore. The American family, you don't need to think, right? Just get okay, Bible, Paul, okay, that's a good name, yeah, yeah. John, that's another good name, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, I really think, I don't know. Uh, Andrew, my son's class have five Andrews. Well, he oh, Andrew, this, wait a second, which Andrew are we talking about? So I really think maybe you should pick up some event as a name. Okay, I guess we're quiet now. Okay. So moving on, moving on from the names. Uh, I am a single mother though. Another name, single mother. 
Yeah, I'm single mother for eight years, guys. Single mother eight years. Uh, eight years, I find out actually, single mother have two parts. The single and the mother. <laughs> Your know, conventional wisdom would let you think that the mother part is hard, right? That's the story I heard. No, it turns out the mother part's not that bad. You know, the single part is very hard. Yeah, I, I find myself constantly juggling uh, to struggle. Be like, Tiger mom during the day and cougar mom at night. <laughs> yeah. So you want to hear the cougar mom part or you want to hear the single mom part? I'll go with the cougar mom, yeah. So the, during that eight years, my son, like from 10 to 18 years, uh, being single mom, I, I, I have to say, I'm very proud, very proud that eight years, my son have not called me a single time that I'm naked in bed with a guy. Wow, that's pretty good record, right? But he called me in the hallway. Yeah, what's going on? You don't like hallway? Yeah, yeah. he called me in the hallway. I still remember that day. You know, um, I was one hour's day, right? We were talking in the living room, then we were, um, okay, by the way, it's not a one night stand. Okay. It's our third day, third day, is that okay, third day? We're a day home, yeah. So we were like, work our way to the bedroom, right? But somehow we ended up on the hallway floor. <laughs> yeah, we we're, were doing, I know, like we we're doing the entrees and everything. All of a sudden, my son's room, he opened his door from that, he sounds like, oh my God, what can I do? What you guys are doing, disgusting. You know, I'm like, I was like, wow, I tried to pick up my clothes, right? Like doing the pee dancing thing, the bra, kind of like, why are you here? It was Friday. I'm just supposed to be with your dad. You know? And then you said, well, dad has something. He drove me off when you guys are out eating. I'm like, wow. Oh my gosh. So I was like, oh, okay, awesome. This is my friend, John. You know? And, and, and my son said, what do you mean, John? You told me you're dating a guy called Bob. Yeah, and, and the John was on the floor, right? He said, what do you mean, Austin? You told me your son's name is Kevin. Like, wow. I was just caught right there, right-handed. Oh my gosh. So I so, was uh, you know, so, okay, okay, okay. I just made up a whole bunch of names because I don't want you guys follow each other on Facebook or something. I don't know. Maybe this guy is a pedophile. Who knows, right? Like, half of them. Jeez, that was very embarrassing, very embarrassing, you know? So I'm just saying, as a single mom, uh, it's not easy. I don't have a privacy at all because my son's not room just crossed the hallway from my room and no lock. Not, none of our rooms have a lock. Um, but I think I did okay as mom, you know? Yeah, as mom, I, I have to play everything. Like mom, dad, sometimes I be he's a bruh. Yeah, so I remember when he was a uh, uh, 13 or 14 something, and one day he came home, he's like, he said he didn't want to go back to school because the kids are picking on him. Like picking on you, what, what they say, what they do. My son said, well, they're, they're saying, you know, like something about that he's Asian, you know, like smile down here or something, you know, like. So he said he's get this uh, PLA syndrome going on. PLA, like, hey, what does that mean? I've never heard that, you know, the jargon or, he said the, uh, uh, okay, LPA, LPA, uh, little penis anxiety. So he, they don't want to go to school. I'm like, oh, little penis, what do you mean by that? I was like, hey. Look, you might look like Asian in your face, but remember, your dad is a white guy. So I'm pretty sure, 100% sure, that you're Caucasian from ways down. Uh, so don't worry about it, go to school. Yeah. I think he felt better after that conversation. I don't know if you go back and check him. He's a, you know, down here. Um, but then I uh, started high school, all of a sudden he wanted to do all the sports. He wanted to do tennis, he wanted to do uh, wrestling. He wanted to join a wrestling team and uh, do track and a mountain bike. Said, Whoa, that's a lot. He's taking on because I had to pay the money to all the team, right? He asked me, I said, well, okay, okay, uh, you can do all that sports as long as you get 4.0 on max. Wow. Yeah. So he said, no, no, why? That's not fair. I'm not Asian. <laughs> I said, oh look, okay, you might be Caucasian from ways down, but you're definitely Asian from neck up, you know. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> so 
So he said, he's still, he's still trying to argue, and I'm like, well, okay. You know what? Um, uh, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing that uh, they're saying, the stereotypes saying Asian people are good at math because guess what? Finally, white people say that we're good at something, which is math. So if you're not good at math, live it up to it. Study a little harder, you know, improve yourself. And otherwise, I'm not paying nothing for your all the sports thing. So yeah, he, he's, get, he's getting pretty good, you know, and the last year, Finally, he graduated from high school, my son did, and, and the school teacher called one day and says, uh, I want to let you know, you, your son Austin is a valedictorian. I was like, oh, wait, violate what? And then is he in trouble? <laughs> because I've never heard that word before, uh, up to that point, you know? Because uh, of my son, after first shot, the vaccine, he said, that's enough for him, you know? So I said, I'll make sure he gets his second shot. Valley doctor's ring or something. Um, turn out, valley doctor is a good thing, right? It's a good thing. Yeah. I, I practice this word a lot before it comes like 30 times to get the valley doctor, valley doctor, you know, try to get, there, get it right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, so how are we doing? How are we doing? Good? Yeah. So another thing about me, thank you, is I am American by choice. Yeah, 2003 by choice. Thank you. Yeah, when I say by choice, I feel like I'm saying uh, I'm a born again Christian. <laughs> yeah, it's not like one of those that just sprinkling waters on your head and all of a sudden you're Christian. You know? and, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not like in the diapers they do it. I'm like, right? Yeah, you my thirties do it, so yeah. Um, but I'm very proud. I'm very proud. But uh, being being American by choice, you know. Uh, but. Uh, uh, it, it's it's a it's a hard the process though. Yeah, I, I had to weigh pros and cons about it. I had to literally give up my Chinese passport to be American by choice. You know, because China is a country they don't like that you are loyal to two tribes. Yeah. I had to make a team. Right? After I pick Team USA, USA. You know, uh, China says, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I got out, I, I sent my passport to the uh, past uh, embassy in San Francisco, they kind of have sent it back. Wow. Yeah, but uh, also, but, but my family, my family's not happy with me. Very upset. 2003, I remember my mom called me and says, Yay, you have a green card, right? Yeah, so you have a green card, that means you have the freedom. You can travel back and forth freely. Why do you want to be America? Wow, see, at, at that point, I already made up my mind. I just haven't thought about why I wanted to be America, you know? So my mom says, uh, you want to vote? You want a democracy? Is that what it is? I'm like, I guess so. Uh, that, that's what I wanted. You know, so my mom voted me out of her will. Yeah, she voted first. Yeah. yeah at the time, I was like, who cares about her shit, uh, shit old apartment? I don't want it. You know, but 20 years later, the, her shitty apartment is $1.3 million wow. <laughs> in Beijing, China, yeah. And then between my mom and dad, they have three of them. Yeah, three some million dollars. I'm out, right, because they out. But my brother, my brother was the worst, though. My brother told me, so you're a traitor. Wow, he called me a traitor. He said, don't come back. Stay in the United States. You know, so uh, that's why people, classical people, uh, that's why I love this country. Yeah, because we already have a trader. His name is Trader Joe. <laughs> yeah. We just I went bought some organic, all of a sudden Joe is uh, taking all the blame for all the traders like me. Man, um So I, I voted after I became American citizen, right? I voted 2008, 2016, 2020. Yeah, I feel like uh, because I voted, so maybe I can talk about a little bit about Politics, right? And people say, no, don't talk about it because as a comedian, you, you're going to turn off half the room. Okay, let me see. Which half? Which half will turn off half the room, right? Uh, I'm not talking about it. I'm just saying, I am still watching TV, watching news. You guys still uh, uh, care about news? No? Yeah. Nobody? Okay, good. Thank you. So, yeah, so after watching news, I feel like at this point, do you think at least we should give a Donald Trump a participation trophy? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, thank you. I know, like last year when he was saying, I walked down with you to the Capitol. I feel like, whoa, look, look at him. He's like cheerleader, right? 
It's got himself ankle deep. It's got him matter. This this year, after watching all that, oh, he's got himself chest deep. Right. He's got that. I think by next, I mean this month, right? There's more hearings after I watch all that. I don't know what else is coming up, but I feel like maybe we should give him a leadership award, right? Le leadership of insurrection. What do you think? No? Because I take a lot of leadership classes when I'm doing my day job. I quit, but I had a day job. A lot of training about leadership. Leadership, there's things called as 3P. Do you know about, have you heard of that? 3P in leadership. 3P, okay? Planning, promotion, and penetration. <laughs> I made up that one. 3P, that's, I feel like Donald Trump's doing, you know, he, he definitely fucked our democracy. Democracy. I mean, that, I call it penetration. Right? He, he literally did that. Okay, so move on. Yeah. Right. This room, this half is with me. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, over here. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay. Good. Nobody walk out. That's great. That's great. Uh, so, uh, what do you think my uh, English so far? Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. My English okay, but. You know, when I first got here as a student, right? My English was awful. Oh my God, it was awful. Uh, I remember that day uh, I uh, flew from China to here. Okay, so I'm not wall people, okay? I came from by plane, yeah, not, not, by, not by wall, not plus, or not by boat, anyway. Yeah, so I, I left, before we landed in the SeaTac, Seattle, so the, uh, the people told us, oh, fill out your form, immigration form. So I fill out the form, like, when the plane line, it says, foreigners go to this window, go to that one, Americans go to that window. So I, I land it, we go to that window, give the officer my immigration form, so they look at the form, you know, and the, the, the lady, she's not happy. She's like, oh, what you look, look at, what you look at? There, in the form, so I, I look at it. So the form have a, after your name, your birthday, they ask for sex. So what I had in there is a once a month. <laughs> That was my English. <laughs> I know, like this days, I don't think it's blaming me, but you, you go ask Facebook about sex, right? They got 50 of them now. So don't blame me, yeah. I really think the, the English, but you know what? Your English sometimes is very confusing, okay? Don't blame me. For example, I gave you an example. Your English word, this word called blowjob. Blowjob. Turned out, it doesn't mean blow. It means uh, suck a dick. Jesus, your English is amazing. You give it up to yourself. Your English is just amazing. Uh, yeah, and um, another thing I want to share with you, uh, I did, a, after I came here, I did an encounter a lot of a stereotype of Asian people. The okay, first one I encountered at the University of Idaho, that's where I got my master's degree, right? Six months in, I started hearing things about Asian people, okay, stereotype, like Asian people, especially Chinese, eat dogs. Wow, do you hear that? Yeah. Asian people eat dogs? Like, wow, oh, really? We eat dogs, huh? Because in China, grew up, I've never eaten dogs, never seen my family and friends ever eat dogs, and no market sell dog meat or cat meat. But we got here, we're like, wow, that's not usual. I look at cafeteria, the menu, you guys, the menu, like, wow. Oh. I was surprised. You know what? Guess what, America? You eat dogs. Not only you eat dogs, you eat hot dogs. Man, and Chinese people, they only eat ugly dogs. <laughs> the sexy ones, okay? They breed them for pets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But not only you guys eat the uh, dog, eat all kinds of dogs. Look at the menu, okay? The chili dogs. Um, the corn dogs, the Snoopy dogs. Okay, the last one is not okay. Somebody's name, right? That's Snoopy dog. Go to any Chinese restaurant, okay? Doesn't matter which city. Look at their menu, see if there are any dog. No dog on their menu. I know, but if you go to China though, you look at their menu, it's a snake now. <laughs> they moved out from dog, they are like snake. Snake is their new delicacy, yeah. Okay, great. So we're doing okay? We're doing great? Yeah, so we should, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, so we need to bring back uh, Keith Richard, our host. Where are you? Come back. Yeah. All right, let's uh, welcome our host back again, Keith.
Ying, F U. Give it up for Ying. Great. I was going to say fuck you, but there was a table that came in. They would not have got that. So, you guys are awesome. <laughs> you guys, uh, I never understood the girl on girl fetish. 